Okay, here I have some various items. I was going to say glassware, but I, I did find uh, two pieces that were plastic. What I'm going to end up doing is gluing them in various... going to end up gluing them in various combinations to make, oh, I don't know what you want to call them, little fairy houses. Oops, that one was glass. <laughs> here's, here's a glass one. I also am going to maybe uh, I'm tossing around what to do with the blue one. I just really, I just, what I did was I just went through two places. I went through the Goodwill and the Salvation Army and just picked up some different different things to play with. I kind of tried a few of them out at the store to see how what could go, you know, how they could all go together. Like that. I mean, it's just going to be, it's, the plastic isn't going to have the same sparkle out in the light, but you know what, it's, it's going to give me the same appearance, right? So, let's see this little vase. This one has some schmutz in the bottom. I just couldn't get out. I bought it used. I just went through the Goodwill and the Salvation Army and just picked up some things that I thought might go well together. Uh, so I'm just going to play around with it and have some glue. Voila. Okay, I did some Googling, and I don't know much about glue, but uh, this is, uh, you know, they, they do have glass glue out there, but then I was going to glue some plastic pieces, so I thought, well, maybe I should just use this super glue that I have on hand. Everything that I read uh, says it can be used on uh, plastic and glass. So I'm going to glue some of these together, let them cure or dry. Everything I've read, you don't have to score it or any, you know, the, the glass or anything like that. So, I'm just going to glue some, let them dry a little bit, and we will try and see the finished result. Now, again, these didn't cost me very much, again, because I got them at the Goodwill. So, um, they're really just beautiful pieces. Like, this one is just going to be incredible outside. And hopefully, you see the light coming in my kitchen windows. When these are finished, we'll go outside. It's snowy. Oops. <laughs> if I don't break one. Um, see, this would have been maybe a nice ice cream dish or flower container, something like that. Um, but we'll go outside when these are all hopefully cured and we'll be able to see some of the light reflecting. Again, it's going to be different with these plastic pieces, but I'm still just, just as excited to work with them too because they were, again, I think really pretty and expensive so if it doesn't turn out as expected I'm not out a lot of money but I have I have high hopes because I have quite a few things going on here so stay tuned bye I'm back we're still curing hardening however you want to look at it but I just wanted to show you down in here I have this one upside down so that maybe the weight of the stem I guess if you will will help it uh, hold better, I guess, uh, you know, as the two pieces glue together. One other thing I could do, I was thinking about this, because again, this is going to be out in, out, out in my yard in the middle. Upon closer inspection, someone might not notice if it were just clear silicone. <laughs> so one like this, for example, you know, maybe I just didn't do the best job of picking these two out. I thought they were a good fit. But then when I went to glue them, it seems like the top piece, the dome, is just more balanced on the outside. If you can see that, yeah, they're both, they're both, uh, it's not a clear solid piece on the top. So a piece of silicone might have worked better there. Um, this one I just have questions about how well it's going to stay long term. But again, it's going to be out in my yard. 
you know, for the iridescent effect to come in, you know, this is still going to give me lots of sparkle. So it, it's still possible this could be a successful piece, but, you know, again, silicone might clear silicone, white silicone, probably clear, I guess I'd have to say. You know what? Out in the middle of my yard as I'm looking at it from my back porch, I might not even notice that it's there. So, yeah, just another thought for you. Uh, okay, we're still curing, so stay tuned. We still have some daylight left, so I'm going to bring these out so we can see them in the in the sun after a while so i'm gonna let them cure for a little bit longer i just wanted to post my uh, additional additional comment to you okay be back soon bye okay i'm back i'm in progress of gluing parts together um one thing i wanted to point out that i didn't mention before is that you have to remember when you're picking out your pieces you're going to have to be able to glue so there's going to have to be enough surface layer to glue and then adhere so this one's a little irregular hopefully you can see that so that's just kind of an example i mean it does have a couple surfaces so you could give it a go and of course depending on how much you invested financially you know i'm not sure if that would be a a long term I, I guess i'm i guess what i mean to say is i'm not sure that the glue would hold it long term of course you know if you don't spend a lot then you're not out a lot if it goes wrong <laughs> um another option would be you could flip it over um and i know some of the pieces we were looking at before are clear um I'm letting them dry, harden, cure, whatever, so I'm not going to touch those, but um, you can play with colors, too. See, this is just one that I had, and then here's a blue bowl. You could play with colors a little bit. Um, it's just up to you. Um, flip that around. And something like that. It's wobbling back and forth. <laughs> um, so it's up to you. Um, that's, I guess, all I wanted to mention for now. Bye. Okay, here we go. Here's one. This is my plastic piece. Unfortunately, um, Fortunately, it came apart. See, it's just not, uh, it's not enough flat surface to adhere, so I think I'm just going to have to flip it over that way. But again, here we go out in the light, in the right place. It's still going to be very pretty. So, okay. Here's the glass one. Beautiful. All done. I'm sure it's not quite catching the sparkle that it really has. Simply beautiful. Okay. And I have one more. Okay, this one is the one that had some schmutz in the bottom, but you know what? I'll probably just bury it a little bit in the dirt to help keep it in the ground and it's still got some moisture inside from being washed off but it's good so hope you enjoy